Good afternoon, teacher and students. My name is Jonathan Ang. Today, I will discuss the subtopic 6.6 .6, Image Formation by Spherical Mirror with my partner Ling Wei An. The curved mirror is divided into concave mirror and convex mirror. So, let's talk about what is concave mirror. A concave mirror converts ray of light to a point. If the inner surface of the part that has been cut reflects light, the mirror is concave mirror. Let's look at the guide to draw a ray diagram. Number one, light ray passing through C is reflected back to its original path. Number two, light ray parallel to principal axis is reflected to the focal point, which is F. Number, number, number three, a uh, light ray passing through F is reflected parallel to the principal axis. So as you can see, the table on right hand side has shows the image formed by uh, concave mirror. Number one, if the position of an object at infinity, then the image will be formed at focal point. And the characteristic of image is real, inverted, and diminished. Number two, if the position of an object beyond C, then the image will be formed between F and C. The characteristic of image is real, inverted, and diminished. Number three, if the position of an object at point C, then the image will be formed at C. The characteristic of image is real, inverted, and same size. Number four, if the position of an object between F and C, then the image will form beyond C. The characteristic of image is real, inverted, and magnified. Number five, if the position of an object at point F, then the image will be formed at infinity. The characteristic of image is real, inverted, and magnified. Number six, if the position of an object between F and P, then the image will be formed behind the mirror. The characteristic of image is virtual, upright, and magnified. So let's see what is application of concave mirror. Number one, transmission of radio wave. Satellite dish was a concave parabolic surface. The signal receiver is located at the focal point. Uh, all signal from infinity converge to focal point. Number two, reflector of a torch light. When the lighted bulb is placed at the focus of a concave reflector, a parallel beam of light is produced. Uh, number three, dentist mirror. Concave mirror can magnify the image so that dentists can have a closer look at the teeth. Number four, solar furnace. A concave mirror is used in a solar furnace. It practically at the focal point of the broad concave reflector. The concave reflector guides the, the heat rays of the, of the sun uh, on the furnace and attain the maximum temperature. The heat can be used to generate electricity, uh, melt, melt steel, uh, melt hydrogen fuel, and nanomaterial. Optimoscope consists of a concave mirror with, a, with an uh, orifice at the center through which it which the viewer examines the eye. The light source is then reflected to the eye from the mirror. A set of lenses are then rotated in front of the hole in the mirror to offset the reflecting power of the eye and those uh, creating a relaxed uh, image of the eyes uh, interview. So Ling Wei-an, can you tell me what is the convex mirror? Okay, thank you for your question, Jonathan Ang Li Wei. For your information, convex mirror is the mirror that diverges the light rays. As you can see, the light rays that are traveling towards the convex mirror are diverged and converged at the focal point. Now, let's look at the rules of drawing the ray diagrams for convex mirror. Rule number one. 
Light ray traveling towards the center of curvature is reflected back to its original path. Rule number two. Light ray parallel to principal axis is reflected as it originates from the focal point. As for rule number three, light ray traveling towards focal point is reflected parallel to the principal axis. Let me share a wonderful information to you. Images that form by the convex mirror is always virtual, upright, and diminished. As for the application of convex mirror, side mirror of car and blind spot mirror uses convex mirror because convex mirror provide wider field of view. Side mirror of car are used to help the driver to see areas behind and to the sides of the vehicles, while blind spot mirror are used for security purposes. Besides, convex mirror are also used in ATM. Convex mirror are placed on automated teller machines so that you can see if there is anyone behind looking over your shoulders while entering the pin. This is because convex mirror can provide wild field of vision. That's all for the introduction of convex mirror. However, I wish I can share additional information to you. Hope you don't mind it. Yes, yeah, finally to my favorite section, telescopes that contain both concave mirror and convex mirror. This is the structure of the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble used two mirrors laid out in a Cassegrain telescope design to collect and focus light. After light travels down the length of the telescope, it hits the concave mirror or ball-shaped primary mirror. The light reflects off the primary mirror and travels back toward the front of the telescope. There, it hits the secondary mirror, which is convex or dome-shaped. The secondary mirror concentrates the light into a beam the size of a dinner plate that travels back toward and then through a hole in the primary mirror. The light is then directed into science and guidance instruments for analysis. Another wonderful telescope that uses concave mirror and convex mirror is James Webb Space Telescope. These are the pictures of the structure of the James Webb Space Telescope. NASA now is targeting October 31st to launch the telescope. The process of collecting data is as same as the Hubble Space Telescope. However, James Webb Telescope is known as Three Mirror Anastigmat Telescope. In this configuration, the primary mirror is concave, the secondary is convex, and is world lightly off axis. The tertiary mirror removes the resulting astigmatism and also flattens the focal plane. This also allows for a wider field of view. The mirrors are covered with gold because of its significantly increased the reflectivity of the telescope in infrared light. Now, let's look at the light path of James Webb Space Telescope.
that's all of my presentation. Hope you gain some interesting knowledge. Let's look at the experiment that we homemade ourselves. Wish you guys will enjoy it. All right, let's discuss the formative practice 6.6. Number one, figure 6.47 shows a pupil looking in the direction of a plant mirror and, the, and a convex mirror of the same size. A. Complete the path of light for both types of mirror. For the question, this is the answer for it. The plant mirror provides narrow field of vision while the convex mirror provides wide field of vision. B. Which type of mirror can produce a wider field of vision? Convex mirror can produce a wider field of vision. Number 2. Adelia holds a shiny steel spoon with its back, which is convex mirror, facing her eyes at a distance of approximately uh, 30 cm. She sees an upright image of herself. However, when a spoon is changed so that the front, which is concave, concave surface of the spoon is facing her eyes, an inverted image is also observed. A. Explain this situation. We can assume convex surface of spoon is equal to surface of convex mirror. So, the characteristics of image is always upright and virtual and diminished. In the other hand, the surface of concave spoon is equal to concave mirror. When we place the spoon 20cm from focus, then the characteristics of image form is real, inverted, and diminished. Oh, I see. Mm, but why is an upright image not seen on the front surface? of the spoon at that distance. This is because the object is greater than focal length. Object distance is greater than focal length. So, the characteristics of image form is real and inverted. 